fact is, this infrastructure bill is going to transform America. I mean, not figuratively, literally transform America. It's the reason why we're looked at as sometimes being arrogant. We think anything is possible. Anything is possible if we act together. Look, you're taking every crisis we ever faced and turning it into an opportunity. Think of one that hadn't had it that way. Whatever the crisis was, we've come out of it better than we were in before it occurred every single time. But we got to stick together. It's John Miro back again with another video. Just wanted to bring you guys a video today. Just kind of been doing a lot of research over the weekend to kind of show you guys what is really going on. If you want to win some free money, then look at the description below. There's a link to the giveaway video. It's easy, it's free, and you can win some money that help you get through the week. So as far as the videos that I found, guys, I've come across a video that is very eye-opening. And for those who are really wanting to know what is going on, please understand that my heart is for this country, for the United States of America. I'm neutral. I'm not either Republic. I'm not Democrat. I am wanting the best for our country because both sides are not perfect. They've both got flaws. There's things that need to be fixed on both sides. And I just want what's best for our country so that our American people can be taken care of. So I've got some great news for you guys. I've also come across a few things that you might have already heard, but I wanted to touch base on it and show you this video of what I'm talking about because it really brings an understanding of to why things are the way they are. This is news that everybody's going to want to hear because it's going to affect everybody. It's not just seniors it's not just those on ssi ssdi social security it's americans in general and when i came across this video and i was reading some articles guys it's like a light bulb went off and i understand now why things are going in the route that they're going so let's talk about china real fast china is literally locking down their city of nine million people because apparently this omicron has really spiked and there are tons of people getting sick and they're doing everything they can to stop it if you're not worried about this i am worried about this because this is what happened the first time and we saw that it didn't just affect them it affected the whole world let's look at to what's happening Residents are required to remain at home with one family member permitted to venture out to buy food and other necessities every two days. There's only a limited amount of people that are allowed to go out, get the essentials, so that way they can keep living. This is crazy. This is something that must be huge, and they are not going to take any chances this is something highly contagious and apparently they're going to try to stop it from spreading i mean they're locking down a city of nine million people what i'm afraid of is we've seen this before we've seen what happened and it, it didn't just affect them it literally has affected the entire world so i'm i'm hoping that they can get a lockdown on everything they can keep it concealed in and literally stop that spread stop it from spreading come out better than before so i'm hoping it's nothing too crazy but again guys this is kind of shocking just because this happening now with china is just kind of alarming and who wouldn't be alarmed considering the fact of what happened the last time that this happened so i'm hoping things are not as bad as they seem is not as bad as they look this is just a crazy picture but let's really dive into what i really wanted to talk about and i'm going to show you guys kind of this picture here and literally this says it all democrats block bill that would restart the keystone pipeline that would literally boost the u.s energy production the reason that i'm showing you this is because everything has been halted everything has been stopped you have heard from president joe biden you have heard from the democrats you have heard from every single person out there this is why we're having the high gas prices you've heard it from everybody and i kind of to be honest I've, I've heard different stories so i had to do my homework come in and say wait a minute it's my due diligence to bring the facts and the information that everyone on this channel wants to know. There are so many people commenting saying, hey, when are we getting another stimulus check? Well, I'm about to tell you 
how you're going to get a stimulus check and when it's going to happen no one really knows because there's a battle going on between the democrats and the republicans and this is the reason why this will tell you if we're going to get one or if we're not going to get a stimulus this would be for everybody and here's why so the house democrats this week blocked a motion to consider a republican bill that would reauthorize the construction of the trans canada keystone pipeline and restart the federal oil leasing program among other things in an effort to boost domestic energy production amid this russian ukraine conflict they called it the energy american energy independence from russia act it was introduced in the house by energy and commerce committee ranking member representative kathy mccorris rogers this comes at a time when gas prices are skyrocketing in the u.s due to some private sector boycotts and a public sector embargo on imports of russian oil i sent a community post and asked everybody if the gas prices continue to go up are you on board with banning the russian import on oil everybody says yes we're for it we'll take the high gas prices president biden said that the cost of freedom it costs it costs to be free didn't really understand that one but i literally did my research and i found out that republicans have argued for years that the u.s should seek energy independence as a matter of a national security meaning we actually have the goods in our own backyard to be more productive we can offer more production in oil than we could ever get from russia this is what's really mind-blowing okay why would we not want to be self-sufficient why would we not want to be self-sufficient let me know down in the comments if you think that the united states should be self-sufficient when producing our own oil i'm getting close guys to showing you this video and it is a four minute video and i wanted to show you this and if you hear it out you'll understand exactly what i'm talking about i mean there's so much going on all right guys so can we be honest for just a second whether you're a Republican or whether you're a Democrat, don't we want what's best for America? Don't we want what's best for the people? Those that are struggling, those that are needing help financially, those that are struggling just to put food on the table, put gas in their car. Can I ask you, do you not want what's best for America? That's plain and simple. Democrat, Republican, their main goal should be to take care of America and do it right. Make sure everybody's taken care of. There's a process and a step to everything, and I just want what's best. So this video is not to target or to bash one side or the other. I want what's best, but this video is an eye-opener, and if you really listen to what he's saying, you'll understand that America should have been self-sufficient all along because it's going to provide a lot of jobs for many american people it's going to make the u.s a far bigger and stronger country and we'll have the best gas and oil prices because we do it our own and guess what that's just going to help our country out and the people out why not bring this to our country and boost our economy when the economy does good everybody does good so please understand that my heart is not to bash either side it is just to hold our congress the senate our president accountable to do their job why couldn't we expect that why wouldn't we want them to do their job i mean don't we want america to be the greatest don't we want america to be the best so please if you would if you want to watch the video you can if you don't it's about a three four minute video but i thought everyone should see this because it makes sense and after this video if you're still watching I'm gonna go into depth about the stimulus check. This week, our president, our American president, asked Venezuela and Saudi Arabia to increase oil production. Asked them to boost their output so that American consumers wouldn't see a spike in gas prices. Seems like a noble cause at first glance, but I couldn't help to think myself, what a strange thing to ask. Because surely he knows that we can also boost domestic production right here at home. Surely he knows that domestic production supports American jobs. And surely he knows that domestic production is cleaner by far than foreign production. Far better for the environment than Venezuelan oil, unless that socialist dictator suddenly became a devout green energy disciple without any of us knowing it. Surely President Biden knows that energy demand doesn't just disappear 
because you tell middle class Americans to go buy a Tesla. Surely he knows all of this, right? The answer is, of course, yes. He does know that. The entire Democrat Party knows this. It is impossible not to know these things because these things are cold, hard facts. They are indisputable. And those facts are simple and worth repeating. Number one, the world will demand at least 50% more energy in the next 50 years. That's a fact. Number two, the energy demanded will be reliable energy, electricity that turns on when you want it, heat that keeps you alive in the winter, and air conditioning that keeps you cool in the summer. Fact number three, solar and wind cannot and will not ever provide this reliable energy, no matter how often you worship and pray to the deities of wind turbines and solar panels, proudly made, of course, by the communist genocidal country of China. Fact number four, American production of oil and gas is far cleaner than any other country except maybe Canada. So these are indisputable facts. So where does that leave us? For anyone wise in the ways of common sense, it leads to one conclusion. It is in the American interest to pursue absolute American energy dominance. If you don't believe me, let's outline the alternative. Let's imagine we go the way of Germany and invest half a trillion dollars in building out unreliable wind and solar production only to watch our energy prices rise faster than anywhere else and yet still be forced to turn on coal plants and import Russian gas because your green energy just doesn't work the way you wanted it to. The rest of Europe wasn't all that different. They increased their reliance on Russian gas from 10% to over 40% now. And I cannot help but notice that the Democrat Party seems intent on pursuing this very path canceling leases and pipelines, increasing regulations, chastising our industry. And if no one else here noticed, someone in Russia certainly did. We fast forward to 2022 and Putin, with his newfound leverage over European energy supply, realizes it may just be the right time to exercise his imperialistic ambitions and retake the old Soviet territory of Ukraine, leaving thousands of innocents dead and a Western world order completely upended. And we're all left thinking the same thought. Wouldn't it be better if it was America supplying Europe its energy? Wouldn't it be better if Europe wasn't held hostage to the whims of a dictator? Wouldn't it be better if we didn't have to wonder where the extra oil would come from after we rightfully ban Russian imports? Well, most of us are thinking that. Of course, unfortunately, those in the majority, those in power are not. And I pray that you start and pursue true American energy dominance. I yield back. All right, guys, that was a pretty lengthy video. If you watched it, thank you for watching it. But this is really eye-opening that we could have been doing this for a long time ago and really got things moving. Why would we pay more and get worse from other countries when it would be better, it would be cleaner, and do it in our own backyard? Why would we want to go somewhere else and get it when we have to pay more? They're going to raise prices when they want. Then if something happens like with Russia, then we're back in the same mess. I mean, why continue this cycle? Why not create it to where it's in our own backyard? It's providing a jobs for Americans and we can actually charge what we want to charge and make it better for American people. Besides, it's cleaner. It's a lot better for the environment. That's just like a no-brainer, but let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. So now let's talk about the stimulus checks. So the stimulus checks, what I see that's happening, and now this is just me of what I've gathered research on, is that they're wanting to keep production out of the United States. That's why they blocked this bill, and they want to keep it on foreign countries and other countries so that way they can charge these oil companies and they can make a profit off these oil companies paying taxes and then turn right back around and send everyone in the United States a stimulus check as long as you don't make too much money. I mean, if you ain't hardly making no money, then you're going to get a stimulus check. Tell me this. Does that sound like a band-aid or does that sound like an actual fix? Because if something happens again, like with Russia, we're back in the same predicament. So why would we go to another country and ask them to produce more so we can buy it from them, then turn around and charge these U.S. oil companies 
a whole lot of tax money to turn around and then try to send stimulus checks with that money to the American people. That doesn't make any sense at all, but that's what I've gathered and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to charge these oil companies a tax. They're gonna take that tax, pass the bill, and send out everyone a stimulus check and that just fixes everything, I guess. Now, please be honest. Let me know your comments on how you feel about that if that's the route we should take and tell me why you feel that we should go that route because that to me what doesn't fix anything because if something else happens, if there's a war that goes on, then guess what? What happens if Saudi Arabia just said, hey, we're not going to do it. We're not going to sell you or we're going to charge you $200 a barrel. Well, guess what, guys? What are we going to do then? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about the giveaway video. Thank you guys for being the best viewers, for commenting. Guys, you don't know what that means to me to be interacting on this channel. Thank you for the comments. And I respect your time. I respect your opinion. I respect your comment. And I don't want to waste your time, guys. And so I'm going to be commenting with you guys and understand my heart. I want what's best for America. And I hope that you feel the same. So stay tuned for more videos to come where we're going to keep it real on this channel and you're going to get the real news on what's actually going on thanks so much for watching until next time i'm john muro peace